Hey guys. Hold on, wait. It's me. And today I have a very long awaited video. But let me just Okay. Okay, this this is good, right? This is good, right? We sitchy, we sitchy. Okay, so this video is basically how to start acting. Now, I've been trying to do this video for y'all for the past, like, eight months. But, like, all right, I got it. I got it. I got y'all. I got y'all. 100%. I got y'all. Because, you know, it's 2022, and we getting ready to accomplish our goal this year, right? So, I got y'all. I was like, you know what? Let me stop baiting. I had some extra time today, and I'm like, you know, I could do the video real fast. So, let's get right into it. Now, Number one, you have to get classes. I don't care what you say. I don't care, oh, I'm a natural. No, you're not. All right, you could be a natural, but like you do need classes. You do need classes. Because if you don't have classes on your resume, agents and casting directors, they're, they're not gonna give a fuck about you. So number one, get training. I recommend Actors Connection, T. Screever Studio, or my current acting coach, Kira Duffy. If you're an adult, she only works with adults. But the first two I list is worked with uh, kids too under the age of 18 people under the age of 18 basically but if you're over 18 i do recommend working with my acting coach kira duffy i love her she's from london and her class is called the empowered acting studio or it's called the empowered actors studio and there's a bunch of other ones i'll link below or put somewhere in here but those are my top three also when you're not training make sure you're self studying i like to watch youtube videos or read books there's this one book by uda hagen called respect for acting this is one of the most respected acting coaches in the industry god rest her soul she's a goat and i'm slapping her but listen it, it's the book all right it's, it's a good book y'all gotta check it out you'll learn a lot hold on and that book is only 15 dollars. and there's a bunch of other books like by stanislavski strasberg meisner that y'all can also read and educate yourself and also remember just because you have youtube doesn't mean you don't take acting classes casting directors and agents still want to see classes on your resume real classes plus class is fun and don't y'all actually want to learn how to act you know what i'm saying you want to be a good actor you got to know how to do it don't underestimate it number two you got to get headshots this your face is what's getting these people to look at you so you got to get some good quality headshots headshots can go anywhere from 200 to 800 dollars maybe even a little bit more it depends on the photographer but this is your money maker so you need to have this like you need to be sitchy you feel me so make sure you look around in the area search up on instagram headshot photographers and wherever you live new york there's a couple of ones i could recommend i'll um you know, put it somewhere here. Um, I'm currently about to do headshots with David Ginnick. Or is that his name? Hold on. And my former headshot photographer, aka my former acting coach, aka my mentor, I love her soul. Her name is Giselle Foster, but she actually moved to Atlanta. So if you live in Atlanta, you can hit her up. She could probably do some headshots for you, period. And just a personal tip, make sure your headshots are what you look like on a regular day. Like y'all see how I have this long hair? I probably wouldn't go in a headshot shoot with this long hair because this isn't my real hair that's one and it's not this long you know what i'm saying like you can go in with like a wig or like some weave but just make sure it's a it's a hairstyle you wear all the time because if an audition comes you gotta look like what the fuck you look like in your headshot like for example if you have on a full face of makeup and a bomb ass weave in your headshot but you pull up in the audition room with a bare face and your natural hair and a little ponytail they gonna look at you like you're crazy your headshot is your prime material, don't bait. Another example, like one of my headshot shoots I had in Twist and now I'm about to switch my hairstyle and do more like curly type hairstyle, hairstyle that fits me and a hairstyle I can get all the time. So y'all about to see that too. Number three, you gotta get a resume, you gotta get some experience. Now to get some experience, if you're still in school, you could go to the school play, audition for the school play, put that on your resume if you get the part. I recommend doing student films. Make sure you put anything, anything that's you behind the camera that's a production, put that on your resume. I'll link a video down below on how to make a resume that I've watched, or I might make my own video, I don't know. But for the most part, you wanna make sure you have some type of experience 
on your resume and if you don't you gonna have to get some you could even do your own productions make a little short film outside with your friends and you know put it on YouTube and then you can dead put that on your resume like I'm telling you it's so many ways to get easy little credits on your resume and then the more you build that up the more real productions you could get your foot in the door to number four casting sites you got to make sure you signed up for these casting sites there's a few you could use you can use backstage actors access is one of the main ones casting networks you can use casting frontier too nobody really uses that but it's something good to um start out with and just have on the side but the main ones are backstage and actors access these ones they gonna get you sissy that's gonna get you into something hold on you do have to pay for these websites too like once a month but you have to though because this is what's getting you these auditions and submissions and stuff but always remember that that's like one of the only things you should pay for like when y'all start getting bigger in this industry and start talking to agents and casting directors they should not be charging you no money bro they should not be charging you money only after you get signed they take a percentage out of what you make when they book you a job but other than that like all these casting networks like backstage actors access yes you you do pay for those so when you sign up for these accounts just put in your information put your pictures put your headshots up there put your experience your skills what the fuck can you do can you dance do you have your license put that up there and then start submitting to all these projects I'm about to show y'all that you can get the app right on your phone god damn can you focus you can get the app right on your phone and you could like see all these like productions a bunch of like student films workshops just a bunch of stuff you can submit for and you know get in there and yeah i'm not even gonna keep going number five consistency and marketing yourself this is probably the most important one a lot of actors do get discouraged if they ain't get somewhere i was one of them i would sit here in my room and just cry because i'm not getting nowhere i'm like y'all like why am i just stuck bro like i'm trying to i'm trying to get in a movie or something you know what i'm saying like i'm trying to tell a story i'm trying to you know i'm trying to do big things with this acting stuff but that's just all a part of you staying consistent. See, if I let the discouragement get to me, I probably would have never got signed to my first agency. Shout out to Glitter Talent Agency for believing in me. You just gotta do what you gotta do, stay consistent, promote yourself, make little business cards, hand them out. Always have your resume and headshot with you. Stay on top of your game, you know what I'm saying? Like, make plans for yourself, write stuff down, you know what I'm saying? Like, you gotta get sitchy in this industry because if you don't, shit is gonna bite you in the ass, you know what I'm saying? And then you're going to be five years from now like, damn, why didn't I work this hard before? I could have been somewhere by now. It's like you don't realize how much time you waste till you spend all that time just doing nothing, bro. When you spend time doing something, you could walk into another month or another year like, damn, I accomplished all of this. It's really the pep talk, though. Hold on. But y'all, do what you got to do. All my fellow actors out there, we going up in 2022. Hold on. We about to get sitchy in 2022. Listen, y'all, thank y'all for watching this video. I hope this helped one of y'all today, and I hope y'all enjoyed this video. Be sure to like and subscribe if you enjoyed this video, or if you just fuck with me, we could be friends. <laughs> Make sure you follow me on my other social medias, all that good stuff, and I'ma catch y'all in the next one. Let me know what y'all wanna see, period.